What is going on guys, Chris Journals and Pop Culture. Another do-it-yourself video today. I've been going crazy with the Mod Podge. I made a video a week or so ago. Some of you may have checked that out about how to make a custom box. Today guys, I have even better ideas about utilizing uh, USPS postal boxes, priority boxes for custom boxes. So, let's do a little recap, okay? Down here is the priority mail medium flat rate box that I showed off in my last video regarding custom boxes and that I made and that I decorated and I said, just put a little uh, Gemini mailer on the side. Comic books will fit right in. Well, guess what? In the comments to that, I'll bring you guys right around here. Someone said, yeah, you know what? That's awesome. And I also use these other USPS boxes called regional, regional rate A boxes that fit as box fillers which is this guy right here. And you can see if you have a box, it might look better with the long box because I actually improvised. I took some books out of here just to show you guys. But if you have like a long box and you have, you know, this much space in it, look at this. It works perfectly as a filler to keep your, uh, keep your books from sliding down and falling over and bending, right? And I'll take this out. Just look at that fit. Look at that fit. Perfect. But look at this. This is a regional rate box A. Oh, I'm going to push these up while we're at it here now i'll take this box out of here to show you guys not only does this box work as a filler as you just saw but it can also be turned into your own custom combo box so yes this is this right here is a regional rate a box um with the top the the, the bottom flaps taped up obviously and the top flaps still up and this is what I turned it into. So, it is obviously a little smaller than the medium flat rates, okay? The medium flat rates had about an inch extra width, and they went up a little higher on the books. But still, if you have modern books, even in bags and boards, and you know what also fits in here? Trade paperbacks. You can use this as a combo book box as well. Um, I'm assuming probably if you have books in, uh, if you have like Silver Age books or older and they're in bags and boards, Silver Age size bags and boards. They might be too wide, slightly too wide, because these are a perfect fit, the modern ones. Um, although, if you can see, these bags actually are more like a what they would call a regular size bag, because you could tell that there's space to the left and right. So this is probably, instead of a 6 and 7 eighths inch modern bag, this is probably a 7 inch modern bag. But that's probably as wide as you would go for fitting comics in here, but... Um, I decorated this up as a Spider-Man box, as you can see, Spider-Man, 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 let's go around here, Spider-Man, what's going on down here, Ugh. some more Spider-Man, there's some Spider-Man 2099 on that end, so it is nice and decorated with Spider-Man, and I have Spider-Man books in it, so these were the books that I had in the first uh, medium flat rate box that I showed you guys just to try it out. And look, I mean, boom, voila, there it is. Another awesome way to get your books into a box without having to pay any money because, once again, these priority mail boxes are free. You could go on to uh, USPS.com and order them for free. You could go into any local post office and pick some up for free. Okay, all you need to do is buy some tape, and like I did here, I took a, uh, actually I used the uh, um, uh, previews books to cut out and tape, because I'm very anti-cutting up comic books, even if they're a 50 cent book, which I said in my other video, but let me show you guys too. The, the, the medium flat rate box, and I'm, I'm reorganizing my room and cleaning, that's why you see like hammers and masks everywhere. I've been dusting and hanging stuff up, but check this out. So this was the box that I showed off in my last video. This is a medium flat rate box decorated. And look at what I used it for. Perfect fit for slab books. Look at that. And I have a little book in here. Red Badge of Courage, one of my favorite books. Uh, I just had that in there as a space taker just to 
you know, make sure these aren't falling completely over. But look at this. Look at this, guys. Perfect size box for slabs. And I really like the fact that it doesn't go all the way up. And you could actually, even if this box was filled, like if I had like, you know, four more books in here, right? And they were sitting up like this. You could see like the, 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 um, oh my God, the label <laughs> and the number peeking out right there above the box. And I just think that's a cool look. You could flip through them and see them easily. Um, just amazing, man. I, I love this. I love it. So, um, I'm also, so what I'm going to do next, because I have a bunch of these boxes laying around, I'm going to make one for supplies because I've been thinking like, how do I store my supplies better? I have supplies in random places. I mean, look at this. They're just thrown in on the boards and bags everywhere. And then I have them sitting up on top, you know, some more sitting up on top every here. So I want to uh, put some more priority mailer, bo mailer boxes together and have supply boxes. And again, I mean, you could decorate them. You can even, you know, leave them undecorated and they still work to really keep your, your stuff organized. But I mean, at the end of the day, I am loving the, the Mod Podge uh, decorated uh, books. Uh, I did find like a, a DC's uh, previews type book that I want to use to make a DC one. And I got a lot more Marvel stuff going. I got some Star Wars stuff cut out. So I'm excited, man. And I'm gonna uh whew, I'm gonna keep busy with this stuff and uh keep showing off uh every creation that I make. Actually, I did make another one of this size that it's just random Marvel again, and I uh I have that in my bedroom right now with my readers, my my two read books. So I have some trades in there and I have some single issues that's sitting right on top of my dresser in my bedroom, uh, and it works perfectly. So there it is, guys. I'm excited. I don't know about you all, but I'm excited. <laughs> all right, y'all. Let me know what you guys think. Leave some comments below. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do so. Don't forget to check out my 1500 subscriber contest and try to uh, make an entry to win some awesome prizes. And until next time.